ladies, welcome to our last day of this January 24 marathon. This has been an incredible journey for me and I really hope that it has been the same for you. So now, let's get warmed up for the last time in this marathon and have your water right next to you always when you train. I'm going to start my timer. With this workout, you will need your dumbbells or whatever objects you're using instead of them. So I'm starting my timer and let's go for it. 25 minutes. The very first exercise is ta-da, burpee. Burpee is an amazing, incredible exercise for your entire body. So let's remember how we do this with the proper form. Standing nice and tall. Tilt to the pelvic floor, shoulders back and down, placing hands onto the ground. Laying down, lifting hands and feet off the ground. Shooting feet forward, jumping high. And the points. Always knees and toes are looking the same direction. Soft, bouncy knees to prevent injury. Your wrists are being placed right underneath your shoulders. You're constantly engaging your core muscles and trying to jump high with your chest upright. Imagine like you are a flubber. You've got something on your feet which pushes you upwards. The second exercise, grab your dumbbells. It's gonna be a robot press up. The way you do this one is shoulders back and down, pelvic floor is tilted, core is engaged. Bring your hands to 90, lift them to shoulder height, rotate, press up, reverse the movement, shoulder, rotate, lower, straighten. And again, here, make sure that the points, all the main points are there. First of all, look straight ahead of you and do not put unnecessary stress on your neck. Now, your wrists are rigid. What I mean by this, we're not doing this, always holding a dumbbell strong and pushing upwards. Now, the next exercise is a dumbbell swing. So what we do here, we haven't done it before. It's an incredible exercise. And normally you do it with the kettlebell, but we'll do this with the dumbbell. So the way you do this one is you bring your hips backwards. And from here, this is your starting position. So you swing dumbbell behind you and thrust your hips, but uh, stop them here. You don't need to do this right here. Engage your glutes. And what you do here, you're only working on your glutes. So you're not using your arms. Your glutes are contracting and bringing that weight up. And you go bend straight, bend straight. So you're not squatting, no only hinging movement. Next one, squat to jump squat with the dumbbell. So what we do here, grab both of your dumbbells. It is going to be a slow one because of the weight. Weight is in the middle and you're going to squat hips backwards. Squat, squeeze and then go down, jump. Squat and then go down and Jump, squat, down, stand up, and jump. And then squat, come up, go down, jump. And again, squat, stand up, and jump. What we do here, we're keeping our pelvic floor tilted, driving hips back almost to a point of falling. Next one, halo, with the forward press up. So what we do here, hold your dumbbell just like so. Now, you're gonna draw a halo around you, but note, you don't do this, no. Body straight, straight body, 
so your shoulders are doing the job now from here bring that dumbbell in front of you bring it back reverse the movement so draw a circle as big as you can and you have to reverse the movement with every halo so if you do it now from the left side then the next one is going to be from the right side ah. the bigger the circle is the harder your shoulders are working so if it's very small obviously you have less work if you try to draw a very large one that means work okay quickly water and going back to our burpees I hope that you are able to give it your best it's the last workout and then we're going to check the results to get our winner who is gonna get all the money back for the marathon and proper form keep breathing strong jump second exercise is robot press up I'm losing my <laughs> now so what we do here we roll shoulders pelvic floor is tilted glute squeeze bend up rotate press the reverse the movement lower and under control whatever you do you do it under control no momentum well done keep going shoulders should be on fire now dumbbell swing I'm going to show from a different angle so I'm going to show from the front the way you do step back to almost like uh, until the dumbbell starts to fall your toes and knees look in the same direction just slightly wider than the shoulder width swing behind swing behind so when you're bending your knees are bending but you're not squatting straight back glutes back your glutes, your hips are swinging the dumbbell, not your arms. Breathe. Amazing. Squat, two jump squat. I want some water. So if you drink, remember small sips. Grab your dumbbells. If you can't do it with two dumbbells, try with one. If you can't do it with one, go with none. And shoulders. And let's go. Drive your hips back. Squat. And now I'm going to show you from the side. So I'm driving my hips back. I'm squatting down. And from here, standing up, squeezing glutes. I'm not even going straight all the way. Slightly bent going lower again and again squat squeeze squat jump and again squat and amazing now a halo let's go As before, alternate, starting left, drawing a large halo, no body swing, and right, 
drawing in hello core is engaged so make sure that you tense your abs and again the other side and press up and the other side and again the other side and the other side if you get confused and you do twice on the left and then twice on the right it doesn't matter don't kill yourself over that I'm gonna finish this off amazing now burpee so this is round number three for us cut your breath and remember shoulders back and down let's go down neck is relaxed powerful jump up shoot feet forward jump up well done keep going Landing softly. And we have 10 seconds. Keep going. Can I please stay here? Slowly get up. Now I'm gonna go into a rubber press up. Let's do this. Shoulders back and down. Bend, bring up, rotate, press. Then again, rotate, lower, straighten. Bend, lift, rotate, press. Lower, rotate, lower, straighten. <sighs> Try to keep the angle in your elbow at 90 so hard keep going almost there almost there now dumbbell swing then again let me show you from the side so what you do the movement is this this is your movement not this no you hinge a little bit bend your knees and then you do this so with the power of your hips you're driving the dumbbell high up and again the lower you bring your body which should be parallel to the ground the uh, easier it will be to swing because that way your weight goes all the way behind you and that way there is more strength for it to go up knees and toes same direction neck always following the spine you bend neck bends never do this never now squat to a jump squat so let's grab a second dumbbell and let's go we're going to squat, knees and toes, same direction, and again, squat, come up, squat, jump, and again, squat, come up, squat, and jump, well done, squat, and jump, land softly, knees are soft, and flexible never lock them and again and again go into squat jump squat <laughs> no halo I'm using 5 kg and obviously the higher the weight the harder you will become shoulders away from your ears tall neck let's go 
and then the other side. And again, keep tensing your core muscles. And again, the other side. And again. And five seconds left. Burpee. <laughs> Going into burpee. Round number four. Catch your breath. Let's go. And up. The 
opposite direction. Strong body, do not swing. And let's go. What's gonna be now? Not me telling you, you tell me. Yes, yes, yes. The best round. Let's go. Burpee. We're gonna rest when we finish. So for the last time in this marathon, you do burpee.
last exercise. And then this marathon will officially be over. it and you appreciate it your body does believe me I'm sure that you feel totally different remember yourself on the day one and remember like not remember but look at you on the day 31 these are two completely different people with a completely different body with a completely different feel of the body and with a completely different mindset I'm asking you a huge favor please please share with me your feedback about the marathon I will be sharing it on social media for people to see not just before and after pictures but an actual review you can do a voice message for me you can send a, a message meaning as a text message and I will greatly greatly appreciate it and Stay tuned because in a few days I will announce something very exciting and for now I'm super grateful for everyone who have done this marathon with me. Please remember do not stop on this day. Carry on with your workouts. Go to my YouTube or go to the marathon and start completing maybe your favorite workouts. Start doing them again and you will see how much easier it has become to do the same workout because you've gained so much strength. Definitely continue with your water intake. Keep stretching, even if you don't work out, keep stretching. That will help you with your mobility, with your flexibility. And remember the main thing, you've done this marathon for yourself. You've done this to show yourself a little bit of love, actually a lot of love, because that has been hard. Keep doing this. I love you all so, so much. And I was, the most, I don't know, the happiest person in this world to have you with me during the past 31 days. I love you all. Enjoy your day, enjoy your life, and love yourself. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now. Bye. I'll miss you all. <laughs>